At this point, we are focused on innovation, and in order to be innovative, you've got to have diverse thinkers all around you all the time. Hi, I'm Stephanie Patrick, executive editor of Adweek, and I'm here at the Google headquarters in New York for our CMO Move Summit. I'm being joined by Singleton Beato. She is the chief diversity and engagement officer for McCann World Group, also based in New York. So Singleton, thank you so much for being with us today. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Yeah, so what is the thing in your role that you're most excited about these days? Uh, well, I am totally excited about the conversations that are happening around diversity and inclusion. Diversity and inclusion is top of mind for CEOs, for CMOs. It's just because at this point we are focused on innovation and in order to be innovative, you've got to have diverse thinkers all around you all the time. My next question for you is what is the thing that keeps you up at night and what's that problem that the industry still needs to solve. Um, so, you know, it just keeps me up at night that there is this um, thought process that we should be seeing change at a more rapid pace, but really our perspective and the way that we think about and approach diversity and inclusion is um, just based on a legacy model of the way business works. And so until we are able to complete our evolution in the way that we think about diversity, there's gonna be this constant tension of, well, let's just do something, anything, in order to attack the challenge of diversity. So that's what keeps me up at night. We, we continue to have this conversation. Everybody wants to move very quickly to change something that took you know, thousands of years um, to become a challenge for us as, as people in this world, so. So you mentioned, um, you know, that a lot of us are frustrated that uh, diversity and inclusion is not moving forward at a pace that we want. What, for those watching um, who might have some influence in their companies, what's something that we can all do today in our organizations that can help push us forward? Every single day, take 15 minutes to go and speak to or meet someone who is different than you, people that you may not otherwise engage with. It helps those people to feel that they are valued because having a person of influence talking to you makes you feel like you're important and it will stretch the individual with influence so that they have now a more diverse perspective and they're familiar with someone who is diverse. And by doing something like that every single day and, and just kind of stepping out of our own comfort zone, we start to help other people feel that it is their individual responsibility to pay it forward, if you will. And it starts to shift the culture because if you're an influential person, people are watching you, people want to emulate your behavior. If you are demonstrating inclusive behavior yourself, the change will happen. I want to know what innovation you see coming down the pike that you think could actually solve this problem. AI. Yeah, tell me more. Oh my goodness. When we begin to have to consider that higher level of intelligence, we ourselves are going to have to evolve in our own thinking, requiring us in every business to think about, okay, how would we use AI? How would we, um, how would we empower the AI to begin to you know, expand its own thinking in order to reach different consumers, different populations, because the world is not getting any less diverse. I think AI is gonna do a lot for that space. What is a piece of advice that you have given or received that's, uh, that you think could really make the difference in someone's career? So the best piece of advice I ever received was from my mother. And I was actually up for my first C-suite job. And I said to her, I don't, I don't know if I can do this job. This is a big job, like this is a big job. She goes, are you afraid? I said, yes. She's like really terrified. I said, yeah. She said, of what? I said, that I could fail. She said, then guess what? If you feel that way, you have to do it. And I thought that was crazy. <laughs> but then I said, I, you know, I said, well, why? She said, because number one, you will challenge yourself in a way that you would not otherwise, which means you will grow. But also when, not if, you come out the other side 
successful, having learned all these new skills and conquering this fear, you as an individual and as a person will have more value for yourself. You will, your self-esteem um, will expand that much more. Singleton Beato, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely, thank you for asking me. All right, and thank you all for joining us for Top of Mind.